Yeah. In baseball, I mean, uh, Nate had a rough outing at Iowa City earlier this year and, and came back and just pitched his heart out. And uh, offensively, facing a very good pitcher, we got four hits off the last time we faced him. And uh, you know, we just jumped on him early and just kept grinding out. Just a nice all around effort by the boys. Two very different games the last two days, but kind of the same intensity from your team both days. What have you noticed with this group in tournament play? Is grind out our bats, but we've been doing this for the last two and a half weeks. I mean, that's just that's where we're at in the season, and they've kind of taken that to heart and, and uh, just playing at a high level with a lot of energy. Coach, what have you seen from uh, Mojo Hagi at the leadoff position and his consistency that he's brought? Yeah, Mojo, you know, we've moved him around a little bit, and I think that's where he's most comfortable. He was just, he kind of went through a little spell where he was struggling, and, and, uh, we just got to a point where you know Spencer was getting on base at such a high rate uh, leading off, but we weren't scoring any runs, so we're like, all right, we got to mix it up and try and maybe not go by the numbers as much and just go by you know where people might be more comfortable and maybe take some pressure off a younger guy and move him down the lineup and, and put some more experience in that spot. And uh, Moja's really responded and done a nice job. Hey, Darren, can you maybe just speak to what you saw to Nate Fisher today and, and not just what he did to win, help you win the game today, but set up the bullpen here for the rest of the weekend. Yeah, I mean, you know, when you face a team and, and they get the better of you, it, it can go one of two ways. And Nate just went on attack mode, and and you know he's he's nearing the end of his career, and he he's not going down without a fight. Uh, you know, I thought he sprayed his fastball around a little bit. I think he had a couple too many walks his last out. He had five walks too, but he made big pitches when he had to. Um, but yeah, to be able to stay in there and, and sometimes pitching with the big league can be tough. And I thought he was he was pretty sharp. And to, again, just a couple of huge outs in there to, uh, you know, the biggest thing we when we scored, he got shut down innings. That was the big thing. You were able to keep the momentum. We get another one going. I think he had three or four uh, shut down innings. And, and that's just so big in keeping the momentum. Darren, the guys keep saying how much fun they're having. How much fun are you having in this run? I uh, just get out of their way. This is not about me or any of the coaches. About this is their time. So, um, I'm just trying to help put them in the best possible position to succeed and, and uh, get out of their way. It's all they're doing it all, and it's uh, fun to watch. Darren, are you able to say what was said in the post game huddle celebration, and also what kind of crowd? atmosphere are you expecting tomorrow morning? Well, I didn't even give it. My voice was a little hoarse, so Ethan Frazier gave the speech, so I can't remember what he said. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's again, get out of their way. This is their team and, and things they're doing. They've they've created their little bond, and I'm not going to get in the way of that. Hey, hey, Coach, with your rotation being seniors and you have other guys like Alex and Angelo kind of really playing maybe the best ball of their careers here in the light, do you, is there something about being a senior that you see him really turn those, kind of turn it on the last two weeks. Just, uh, you know, if if they're talking about it, I haven't heard it. Um, but I, I think that you know, the, just those guys in general, whether they were freshmen or sophomore juniors, they've got a lot of fight in them, and they they've just got that little mentality that they bring uh, other guys with them, the younger guys, and and sometimes being around some of those younger guys that are decent players and playing can threaten your you know kind of be threatening where they're taking your position and we just haven't seen that they just uh they seem like they genuinely like each other and pull for each other and and that's why I don't have to really do much because you know we have a change in our schedule this group doesn't care it's just it's like all right whatever come to the next day let's play so it's a uh, just it's a uh, it's fun group to be around being in this position at 2 and 0 in the tournament how much is that an advantage for you guys and um, with you having two chances to advance to the championship tomorrow do you save Reese for possibly Sunday no I'm not gonna try and reinvent the wheel we'll just stay let him go right away and, and uh, go from there um, yeah you know we've been 2-0 oh, we've been on two we've, we've, we've two years ago we lost this game and we had to turn around and play Maryland so uh, it's just uh, of all those scenarios this is probably right now the best place you can be so we just gotta get some rest and be ready to play early tomorrow